Hey guys, this is Drew Mario 1306. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot Warped. Last time, we actually got an unexpected relic from our Orange Asphalt, and we got the gem out of that level, which is pretty hard to get. I had a little trouble getting the gem in that level. And we did Gum tomorrow. We just got the crystal, that's all. Alright. This part, we're doing Flaming Passion and Mad Bombers. <sighs> Can't wait for that level. Not really. Anyway, let's start with Flaming Passion. This is the... I think the last of the three... Tomb Levels? No, not Tomb Levels. The uh, Arabian Levels. This is the level with the green gem in it, so... I will show that off. You could actually take these enemies out. Okay. So yeah, those enemies who cause the fires, you can actually take them out. Along with other enemies, too. Something new they have here in this level. Well, the carpets are a different color. They're shiny yellow. See, so yeah, if you want to get rid of them, you can. Of course, you're gonna get rid of this guy. He's holding all those pots and can't. Oh, the, those pots. All right, so there's a checkpoint. Took down all those enemies, so we're good to go. Okay. There's the crystal of this level. I don't think we're even halfway there. No, we're not. We're only one sixth of the way there. Run away. Got sort of checkpoint here. So yeah, this is supposed to be the hardest of the three. This is meant to be the hardest of the three Arabian levels. So yeah, the levels are really hard in this... in this uh, w world. There is the death route. Uh, I'm actually going to... I, I might consider taking the death route this time, because I think unlike the other death routes, this one actually... wait, how many... how many colored gems do we have? Oh, we don't have yellow. I think, uh, unlike other death routes, this one doesn't take you to the end... ...of the... ...doesn't take you back to the, uh, warp room. It takes you somewhere else in this, uh... ...in this level. There are no boxes in this, uh, warp, uh, death route. It's nice of you to give you a checkpoint in this level. The only other... Well, there are... There is one other level, which... Or... I do know that one other level gives you a checkpoint crate with a steel... A steel checkpoint crate. What? That was not part of the... Well, that, that caught me by surprise. Not really, but... I did not expect that. 
Okay. I think you, you, yeah, you definitely want to take these guys out. One or the other. Because if you only take, if you don't take them out, you probably won't, will have a, you won't have a better chance of getting. I wasn't sure when those swords were going to show up. Yikes. Anyway, for those guys who throw the flames, you have to avoid, you have to shoot them. You have a better chance of getting through the death route that way. But there's the green gem, and it actually takes us up here. I wasn't sure when they were going to show up. And I start back at the death route again. Did I mention that this this game has a death route music? Yeah. For for each or not death route, special route music for each level. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot Warp did did not no, Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex did not have that. For some reason I can't see the carpets. Alright, there. Finally. If you go through the death route, all you have to do is just collect this box right here. And see? You're back here. So yeah, the death route. It doesn't take you far up. It is a a little risky to take that chance. So I go for that box first before going for the death round. This guy needs to be shot down. There we go. Checkpoint. And here's a bonus level. It is really important to use the bazooka on this level. At one point, at least. Because there are nitro crates in this level. Whoa, it spun that. Wait a minute. That's a high jump. So yeah, Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex did not have any special route music. It did have bonus level music, but not the special route ones. Okay. That's something that I probably didn't mention, or maybe I did, I'm not really sure. But there were special route music in this game. Depending on which type of level you're in, the instruments will change. And for all those boxes in that bonus level, you have to shoot them because, as you notice, there were. Well, not just the jumping crates, but the nitro crates, too, because... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think we're missing something. Ah, uh, we missed the crate. I don't know if it's a glitch crate or not, or if it's a crate in the bonus level. But either way, we missed a crate. So, I guess I'll meet you back in that level. Well... To find out which crate I missed. At least I got the death route gem. So in a later video, we'll just visit that level with... The needed for the green gem. But I'll meet you back in the level.
How could I be so stupid? It was that box up there. I kind of confused that box with that spinning box at the end of that this level right there. You see that spinning box indicating how many boxes you collected? I kind of confused myself with that box that I sh sh shot on the top with that. So yeah, I was a little confused there, so that's why I missed that crate. No matter, we still got the gem. And now we probably go to one of my least favorite levels in the game, Mad Bombers. It's a flying level, and it's not easy compared to the other one. Crash, Coco, remember. It is not only Dr. Cortex that we battle. Beware of Uka Uka, my children. He is a far more dangerous enemy than anyone can imagine. Well, I've seen dangerous enemies before. We can take him. Okay, this level... Well, Crash is flying this level. There are 11 boxes. Now, there's only five airplanes compared to seven. But this level is not easy. Because... These guys will be shooting you more often than in the other level. So you make sure you, do make sure you dodge their attacks. And try to shoot them down. Alright, to, to, you have to take down these planes, to take down these planes, you have to shoot the propellers on their, on that planes, and there are two of them, so, yeah. It's a little more difficult considering they're moving, unlike the blimps in the other level. So yeah. That's why I think this level is hard. But the real problem I have is that these enemies in the in the in those planes right there, the ones that keep shooting at me. They always shoot me down every time in this level. Especially while I'm focused on trying to take down this plane. So yeah, they're very annoying. Now it looks like I'm having no problem right now. Wait a minute. I think I know why. Oh yeah, getting the relic in this level is very hard, because you don't have that much time. That's why I think this level is one of my least favorite levels, because it's... Getting the relic in this level is really hard. Because, of course, either I die or I always... Miss the mark. Maybe now I now I know why I hate this level. It was the relic. It's the relic. That's why. But yeah, still a pretty annoying level, especially the those guys shooting at you. So yeah, be careful when facing this level. But it looks like I'm having no problems in this time. Well, for now. I got the crystal. And that's just the easy part of this level. But yeah. That's it for that level. And I'm going to end this video right here. So next time, we will tackle the 25th level of the game, Bug Light, which is another tomb level. And we will face the final boss of this game, Dr. Cortex, and his masked minion, Uka Uka. So, thanks for watching.
This has been Drew Mario 1306, and I will see you next time for Bug Light and the battle with Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex.